Rejection really fucking sucks especially if it's a loved one or a friend or family member, people that like really matter to you. And especially if it's around vulnerable stuff and things that you're already like not super confident or comfortable in. So especially in the bedroom. So yesterday on the Love and Light show, we talked about sexual desire and all kinds of awesomeness and sex drives and overactive and underactive sex drives and how that relates to relationships and stuff. And like so many things from that conversation, I want to like dive into deeper and I could have like talked for hours and hours and hours on the show. And I like, will continue to make more videos about all the things that like came up during that video, but I felt really called yesterday and today to share my personal experience of a time when I felt super rejected in the bedroom and the lessons that I learned around that and things that I had to do on my own journey to heal and support myself on that and then offer you guys some downloads for healing as well to help and support you guys on your journey if you have felt rejected, have a fear of rejection, have that kind of stuff coming up in your life. And hey everyone popping on live, hi Timothy and Candace and Kalina, hope you guys are having an awesome night. So when we were talking yesterday on the Love and Light show, we were talking about how if one partner's libido is higher or lower and it's like not matching, then they can have experiences where if they're not communicating really well, then like there can be misunderstandings or fates or hurt feelings and negative consequences of that not being matched. So my mind like immediately went to like one of the first super painful experiences I had with that. And like I have a pretty high sex drive, especially for like a woman and like that's really awesome for me and like I've done palmistry and like it's really cool that like my friend who does palmistry do she's like yep you have super high sex drive so it's cool to like have that like affirmed and stuff but when I'm in good flow and my environment's good and life's good then I have a super high sex drive so when I was with my partner at the time there was like stressful things in his environment and work and stuff going on and we had started to initiate, well I started to initiate making out and having sex and stuff, like initiation of things. <laughs> this is so weird doing it on Facebook. This is me growing outside my comfort zone guys and not caring about people who are not popping on live and stuff. This is interesting. <laughs> Maybe I'll like not look at the people popping on live and like focus on my story first. <laughs> okay, so yeah, like a couple years ago, a couple years I think, so when I was still dealing with the like not wanting to take things personally and all that kind of stuff, I was experimenting in relationships and diving deeper into my confidence and body confidence and all those things. So those were still like new and I was very un like, yeah, unconfident in a lot of things like sexually. So to initiate sex and making out and then it not go through was like a huge hit to my ego. So like making out with my shirt off and then him being like, do you know what? Like, I don't really want to do this right now and I really have to focus on work and putting work over like sex with me was like so infuriating and so painful and like I just wanted to like scream and cry <laughs> when that happened and I actually like wanted to leave like I just like had such like and I don't usually get like super angry but like I had like immediate rage of like what the fuck and wanted to just like leave the situation it was like super painful and I just wanted to like not deal with it but I was like okay that's not gonna be healthy <laughs> and I just needed to cool down so like I like went to another room and like cooled down and did some self-care and like tried to like figure out what was going on in my head and like I was super taking it personally instead of just being like this is what's happening in his world and his reality and it's not that he doesn't find me attractive or pretty or sexy or any of these things it's just like this is his reality he's stressed out and he's not wanting to have sex right now versus the stories that I was creating around my old wounds and like stuff that I had from my childhood around not feeling like sexy or beautiful or awesome when I was in school because I was like the nerdy smart girl so like I didn't have a bunch of boyfriends and I didn't feel super attractive and like those kind of things came up when he rejected me in the bedroom so I had to like do the work on that and do like inner child work on that as well because like 
growing up, I didn't feel like my dad loved me. Like he didn't say it and he didn't like show any of us kids affection or like hug us or kiss us or anything. So like totally felt rejected in that way. So like that stirred up a bunch of like my daddy issues and like so many things got triggered just from what that one instance. And that can unfortunately happen when people are rejected in one area of their life, a bunch of their other wounds and triggers that they haven't healed or looked at from other areas of their life where they felt rejected can all get pulled in. So I definitely felt called to sharing this so that I could give some healing downloads and support you guys on that. Just so you guys could benefit a little bit from my experience and not be super fuming mad and want to break up from that experience. <laughs> and like, yeah move on from even your fears of rejection of like not wanting to do things because I also have a fair amount of people who don't even want to like do anything or make a first move or try new things in the bedroom or even ask someone out or try a new thing or try something new in their business like there's so many ways that people can get rejected and it holds people back by just having the fear of rejection. So I'll do some healing downloads on that too. So if you guys are new to Theta Healing, all you have to do is say yes to receive the healing downloads and we'll clear the bad stuff. And it essentially puts you in alignment with your highest and best good, your truth, the authentic you. And we just do downloads through your higher power. So I'm gonna use higher power, but you can substitute in your head, God, creator, source energy, the universe, spirit, angels, guides, whatever your higher power is, you can totally substitute that in. So do you want to release and let go of the fear of rejection, the fear that you won't be accepted, that you don't belong, that you're weird or that you're different and that that's going to hurt you in some way, cause you pain or suffering. And if you would like to release that completely in all levels and cut the cords, ties, obligations and bonds that you will be rejected or that you need to face rejection in order to get some kind of like thing on the other side, if you'd like to release that completely in all levels, you can say yes. And you can say yes in the comments too. And sometimes people ask if energy works all the time. Yes, energy healing works all the time. So if you're live, you get the live. If you're on the replay, you still get the energy on the replay. You're good as long as you say yes and consent to energy work. And you want to release and let go of the negative emotions, any trauma, pain, or negative energy or suffering that you have around times in the past where you have felt rejected or been rejected or have pain or sadness around rejection and if you would like to forgive yourself for holding on to that let it go completely on all levels and move yourself forward to the present moment so that you can live without the fear of rejection and live without holding on to that past pain or suffering then you can say yes And you want to know what it looks like and feels like to have open, healthy, honest, vulnerable, brave communication in your intimate partnerships and in your friendships and your relationships in this world so that you can be on the same page with the people that you're talking to and that you know what it looks like and feels like to live without taking things personally so that you can move forward for your highest, best good and your optimal health and communicating with the people around you. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. And you want to release and let go of the old stories or beliefs that like rejection will equal death, that like you not being accepted by a certain group of people or a certain person or your idea being rejected or something that you created being rejected, that that will somehow be like this big devastating thing or like the end of your world or like death that you can release and let go of those old beliefs and stories that have been holding you back so that you can move forward in your life without the fear of rejection or the past experiences of rejection holding you back or keeping you small so that you can be the most divine, beautiful expression of yourself in this world and that you can feel safe doing so. And if you would like that, you can say yes. And you want to know through your higher power that you are always being watched over, protected and kept safe and that Things are always working out for your highest, best good and optimal health and you can choose to move forward on your journey, experiencing it in the most loving, supportive, nurturing, caring, 
gentle way instead of through pain, hardship, suffering, or like drudging through like hardships that you can release and let go of those old pain points and move forward with more ease, support, and love. And if you'd like that, you can say <laughs> Awesome. And then we can integrate all those changes. And I can also support you with any other misalignments in your body or disease or things that are ready to be healed or supported right now and fill you up with your higher powers, unconditional love, compassion, joy, and happiness. And if you like that, you can say yes. And then you can take a couple deep cleansing breaths. And I'll check back into the comments. I'm just gonna think about it. And it's really good to hydrate during any kind of energy healing, guys. Um, and hey Byron, and Bernard, and Tanya, and Kim, and Jack, and Tristan, and Jeremy, woo! I don't know why they just pressed, but it, okay. <laughs> and Deb, and Rocky, and Felicia, and Louisa, hope you guys are having an awesome night, and Melanie, and Angela, and more people are popping in. I think because I swiped it off, it's like still thinking about it. <laughs> so if I'm not catching you guys, and you came on, okay. And Sarah, and Derek, and Connie, and Danielle. Hope you guys are having an awesome night. If I didn't say hi and popped on, hello. And hi, Pip. So yeah, definitely focus on clear communication with the people in your life so you can avoid taking things personally. And if you are taking it personally, or you do feel really rejected, or you feel like you're like blowing something out of proportion, just take some time to reflect on that. So you might want to journal or meditate about it or talk to your healer or a support system or a really good friend about what is actually going on there that you might not be noticing. So it could be like a reflection of like me where I was like totally triggered by like my daddy issues that needed to be looked at or from past things where it's like, yeah, you were bullied and like those fears of your childhood weren't healed or resolved. So they like, came over here in your relationship for you to like look at them and heal. So definitely be open to whatever is coming through for you as your lessons so you can't avoid going through like the hard parts of like crying and being upset and feeling super rejected. And also like the fear of rejection is just like an illusion. Like I've had a bunch of experiences in my life where I was afraid to be rejected and I went for things and awesome things happened and stuff where like, a guy was, like, afraid of being rejected by me, and then, like, really awesome magic things happened after that because he pushed through his fear and, like, was just like, nope, this isn't gonna win, and then awesome things happen. So, like, there's so many beautiful things in life that you can experience when you go outside your comfort zone, when you're not afraid of rejection, and when you open up to all the awesome things that are there for you and just follow your, like, gut <laughs> on, like, the awesome things that you're feeling called to do and really cool things can happen if you're not afraid of being rejected because it's just an illusion and you really can't be rejected from the things that are meant for you like your soulmate your soul tribe the people in your life that you're like meant to like be with and connect to will always be your people and you can't say like the wrong thing to like your right people so just know that too that like better communication skills are awesome and definitely support you on that journey but also the people that are meant for you are meant for you. And there's like a million tangents that I want to take this on, but I also wanted to keep this kind of concise <laughs> and not talk about like a million and two things about rejection, but I could definitely make more videos about this. So if you're interested in more videos and deeper healing downloads on rejection, totally let me know if you know a friend or a loved one who could be supported by those healing downloads on rejection or that story or some of those tips, definitely feel free to share it. Share it with them. If you don't want to put it right on your wall, you can always take that link and send it to them privately. Sometimes people like to do that instead of putting it publicly. And Deb, I was completely disowned by my entire family, all my siblings, 
just after our mother died. I'm so sorry to hear that, Deb. Oh, that's really hard. And I can kind of relate to that. Like, I was sort of disowned by my dad. Like, there was definitely disowned energy in my family where, like, my grandpa disowned one of his kids and then a bunch of bad stuff happened in my family. And, yeah, my dad wanted us to choose and kind of disowned us. And we were like, okay. So I get how painful that is and how much that that could hurt. And I could only imagine how much more magnified that would be for your whole family to do that. So I'm sending you so much love for that. And in the same breath, it's like, if that's the energy of those people who are doing that, like that they're not for your best good and that you can see it as like the silver lining of being like, they created a lot of space for you, for like your soul family to come in. So like loving people that might not be your blood family, but could be incredible in your life and you're sending little hearts. So I'm hoping that that's resonating with the people that have come into your life, into that space, being more in alignment with who you are and being healthier for you and more positive for you. But I'm sending you so much love and I'm so sorry that that happened. Um, and hey, Holly. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I loved you, Deb. Awesome. Okay, and Deb said yes. Awesome. I'm so glad that that's resonating. And hey, Pamela and Adrian. Hope you guys are having an awesome night. So yeah, feel free to share that out for anyone who needs that message. And I'm sending you guys all so much love and light and hope that you have an awesome night. Bye.